Getty Derby beat Aston Villa at Pride Park. The Austria International scored after a mistake by Glenn Whelan before Johnny Russell secured the Rams' fifth win in six games. Boss Gary Road thought the way his team opened the match set the tone for the afternoon. It's probably the best start we've had all season, he said. That was something we wanted to do with a little bit more composure. At times we could have had more. It's another game where we can say we know we can play better but we've kept a clean sheet, defended brilliantly and it's another excellent result. Villa manager Steve Bruce accused his team of handing Derby the win. In the first 20 minutes we made so many mistakes he said. Which teams would be in the championship if it was sorted by stadium capacity? Getty, it's probably the best start we've had all season. Derby boss Gary Rowett from the very first minute we put them through and didn't really recover. We made far too many errors and when we analyze it we'll look and think for all that we huffed and puffed, we've gifted them the game, Villa's injury problems were highlighted by Josh Noma playing as a striker but it was the defense that came under pressure from the start as Derby were quicker out of the blocks. The visitors appeared to have settled but in the 24th minute, a dreadful ball from Whelan put Vidra clear and his pass was turned in at the back post by Vimin. Derby almost got a second before the break but Vidra's ball lacked accuracy and although Conor Arahan had Villa's first effort on target in stoppage time, it had been a poor first half for the visitors. They started the second with more urgency and almost equalised soon after the restart when Albert Adams' cross was flicked on by Noma and Robert Snodgrass saw his shot blocked on the line by Richard Keogh. The defender was involved at the other end on the hour when his firm header from a free kick was held by Johnston, who had to dash out of his goal to clear as Derby threatened again. Johnston again showed quick reactions in the 68th minute when he just beat Vidra to a loose pass from Marl Jedinak and he turned over a Bradley Johnson header two minutes later. Villa were giving the ball away too often and Anoma's wild shot from outside the box in the 76th minute summed up their growing frustration, although Jack Graylish remained a threat. Scott Hogan glanced ahead a wide as Villa finally started to press in the closing stages. But Derby defended strongly and sealed victory in the first minutes of added time when Kyo sent Russell clear to slide the ball under Johnston. Russell was then denied a second by the keeper but Derby had done more than enough to beat a Villa side who were second best by some distance. Related Articles